Picture this. You're sleeping in your apartment in Pozzuoli, Italy. It's three in the morning. Suddenly, your bed starts shaking. Not gently, violently. Your windows rattle. Pictures fall off the wall. You grab your phone. The screen lights up with hundreds of panicked messages in your neighborhood group chat. Did you feel that? My kids are crying. This is the third one tonight. This isn't a nightmare. This is reality for half a million people living on top of one of the world's most dangerous supervolcanoes. And right now, it's waking up. In just the last seven days, 86 earthquakes have struck Campi Flegre. 86 tremors. In one week, the ground beneath Naples, one of Europe's most densely populated cities, has risen almost five feet since 2005. Imagine your entire neighborhood lifting up like a massive elevator, cracking roads, tilting buildings, and draining harbors. But here's what should terrify you most. Scientists just discovered something they missed for decades. A massive fracture zone forming three to five kilometers underground. Concentrating 50% of all seismic energy in this volcanic system. This isn't random shaking. This is the Earth's crust rupturing in real time. The last time Campi Flegre erupted in 1538, it built an entirely new mountain in just two days. Monte Nuovo, a mountain that didn't exist on Monday, appeared by Wednesday. Now, seismic data shows magma moving at depths we haven't seen since the 1980s crisis. Uh... Back then, 10,000 people were evacuated. Buildings collapsed. The city of Pozzuoli was abandoned. Today, over 3 million people live within the danger zone. 3 million. That's more than the population of Chicago. And there's no way to evacuate them all if this volcano decides to blow. Oof. So why is Campi Flegre getting more restless? What are these 86 earthquakes really telling us? And most importantly, what happens next? Because unlike other volcanoes hidden in remote mountains, this one sits directly beneath homes, schools, hospitals, and one of Italy's most historic cities. In the next 20 minutes, we're going to break down the latest data from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. We'll show you the ground deformation maps that scientists are watching every single day. We'll explain why the port of Pozzuoli is now sitting on dry land. We'll reveal what the escalating earthquake swarms really mean for eruption potential. This isn't speculation. This is happening right now. So the instruments don't lie. The data is clear. And the people of Naples are living on borrowed time. Between December 8th and December 14th, 2025, Campi Flegre recorded 86 individual seismic events. These weren't minor vibrations. The strongest reached magnitude 2.1 on the Richter scale. Strong enough to wake people from sleep. Strong enough to crack plaster. Strong enough to send families rushing into the streets at midnight. But magnitude alone doesn't tell the full story. What matters is depth. And these earthquakes are occurring at depths between 1 and 3 kilometers. That's shallow. Dangerously shallow. When earthquakes cluster at shallow depths beneath a volcanic system, it usually means one thing. Fluids are moving. Magma. Gases. Superheated water. Mud too. All pushing upward through fractured rock. The epicenters aren't random either. They're concentrated in a tight cluster around Pozzuoli, specifically near the Solfatara crater. This is the same area experiencing the most dramatic ground uplift. Sir, over the past 20 years, GPS stations in Pozzuoli have measured a cumulative rise of 1.46 meters. That's 4.79 feet. Your doorway is probably shorter than that. The most critical monitoring station, known as a riot, has been tracking vertical displacement with millimeter precision. In recent months, the uplift rate accelerated to 2.5 centimeters per month. That might sound small, 
but in volcanic terms, it's alarming. This kind of sustained, accelerating uplift indicates continuous pressure building underground. Satellite radar interferometry, a technology that measures ground deformation from space, paints an even more detailed picture. Satellite radar interferometry paints an even more detailed picture. These images, captured by European Space Agency satellites, show the deformation isn't uniform. There's a bullseye pattern centered offshore just west of Pozzuoli Harbor. This is the focal point, the pressure source, the place where something deep underground is pushing upward with relentless force. Now, overlay the earthquake data on top of this deformation map. What do you see? Every single tremor, every shake, every midnight awakening falls within this deformation zone. The earthquakes aren't random afterthoughts, but there's more. In 2023, researchers identified something nobody expected. A newly forming fault line cutting through the bedrock beneath Pozzuoli. This fault didn't exist decades ago. It's forming now, in real time as the ground rises and the crust fractures under pressure. And here's the shocking part. This single fault zone is absorbing 50% of all seismic energy released in the entire Campi Flegre system. Scientists use seismic tomography to see underground like an X-ray for the Earth. These images reveal a high permeability zone between 3 and 5 kilometers depth. Temperature readings from the Solfatara crater tell the same story. Fumaroles, those volcanic steam vents that hiss and bubble with sulfurous gases, are getting hotter. Station Picaruli FLZ recorded temperature spikes throughout November and December. Station Solfatara BG showed increased carbon dioxide flux, more gas, hotter gas, faster gas release. Mm. But here's the question that keeps scientists awake at night. And it's the same question I want you to ask yourself right now. Are we watching the early signs of an eruption? Or is this just another cycle of unrest that will calm down like it did in the 1980s? Because here's the truth. Nobody knows. Not with certainty. Volcanoes don't follow schedules. They don't send calendar invites. Campi Flegre has been restless before. Between 1982 and 1984, the ground rose almost six feet. 10,000 people evacuated, buildings collapsed, and then nothing. The unrest stopped, the volcano went back to sleep. So, I want to hear from you. Do you think Campi Flegre will erupt in our lifetime? Or is this just geological noise that will fade away? Uh, drop your answer in the comments right now. Are we looking at an imminent disaster or decades more of slow inflation? Maria Rossi wakes up every morning in her Pozzoli apartment and checks the cracks in her bedroom wall. They're getting wider. Last month, they were hairline fractures. Mm. Now, she can fit her finger inside. Her building, like hundreds of others in the red zone, is slowly being torn apart by ground deformation. The port of Pozzuoli tells an even more dramatic story. Boats that once floated freely now sit stranded on exposed harbor floors. The ground has risen so much that the waterline has receded. And here's something most people don't realize. The danger isn't just from a potential eruption. These constant earthquakes are causing what engineers call creeping structural damage. Every tremor weakens buildings a little more. Masonry cracks. Foundations shift. Old structures, some dating back centuries, are particularly vulnerable. In March 2025, a magnitude 4.6 earthquake struck at 11.32 at night. It was the strongest tremor in over 50 years. 48 families were immediately evacuated from damaged buildings. Scientists have identified critical thresholds. If earthquake frequency jumps above 100 tremors per day for sustained periods, that's a red flag. If ground uplift accelerates beyond 5 centimeters per month, that's another alarm. 
If gas emissions spike dramatically, particularly sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, that indicates fresh magma reaching shallow levels. The Italian Civil Protection operates on a four-level alert system. Green means normal background activity. Yellow indicates signs of unrest. Orange means magma movement is likely. Red means eruption is imminent or underway. Currently, Campi Flegre sits at yellow, moving toward orange. But here's the uncomfortable truth. By the time it reaches red, you might have 72 hours at most to evacuate half a million people. Evacuation drills conducted in recent years revealed serious problems. Roads became gridlocked within minutes. Emergency shelters filled to capacity almost immediately. So what can you do if you're living in or near the danger zone? First, have a go bag ready. Essential documents, medications, cash, water, flashlight. Keep it by your door. Second, know your evacuation routes. Don't rely on GPS because networks might fail. Memorize physical routes. Third, establish a family meeting point outside the red zone. If you get separated, you need a rally point. But let's zoom out for a moment. Why does Campi Flegre matter to people who don't live anywhere near Italy? The eruption that formed the Campi Flegre caldera 40,000 years ago was so massive it may have contributed to the extinction of Neanderthals in Europe. That's not ancient history. That's a geological warning written in stone. So here's my final question for you. And this one is critical. Do you think world governments are taking this threat seriously enough? Should there be international funding for volcanic monitoring? Should Naples have a mandatory evacuation plan enforced by law? Tell me in the comments. I want to know if you think we're doing enough or if we're sleepwalking into disaster. And if you found this information valuable, if you want to stay updated on Campi Flegre and other active volcanoes around the world, hit that subscribe button right now. Hmm.